Welcome to another episode of Shabbat Shmuz. This week's Parsha is Parshat Behar. What we know about this week is that this is the week of Pesach Sheni. What is Pesach Sheni? I'll explain. This is the only Chag of the entire year that we're actually given a second chance. We're given a second version of it. There is no Rosh Hashanah Sheni. There is no Yom Kippur Sheni. There's no Hanukkah Sheni, but there is a Pesach Sheni. So Chazal tell us that th this means that for the next week, for the next seven days, we have a very, very amazing, holy, opportune time to dive into Hashem for whatever we feel wasn't answered just the way we want up until Pesach. I remember hearing a beautiful story by Rebetzin Esther Youngrise, Alea Shalom, and she spoke about how she's given so many lectures over her lifetime, but there was one speech that really stood out in her mind as the most moving. She spoke for a group of women prisoners in Ramla, and after she spoke, it was a full day event, it was so moving, everybody was so touched. One female prisoner went over to the Rebetzin and asked her, she said, can you do me a big favor? Can you take this piece of paper and put it in the crevice of the western wall for me? And the Rebetzin was, was stunned. She said, of course. And she opened up the paper and she handed it to the Rebetzin. And on it said four words, Dear Almighty, forgive me. And the Rebetzin took this paper and she took it to the hotel and she placed it inside. And that woman who was in prison in Iran, she got the memo. She understood that HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't judge us based on where we are. Hashem wants us to do teshuva, to have, take the opportunity for that second chance, to go on the road that will eventually get us to our final destination. It's not about arriving at our final destination. It's about recognizing that perhaps we need to U-turn to get us onto the road that will eventually get us there. So for the next week, recognize that we have an opportunity to change whatever we didn't feel like was going in the right direction. And when we do, as Rata Shabbat Shalom should answer, answer us, Akol Mikolko. Shabbat Shalom.